Hi, I'm Marina from Riding Warehouse and this is Bree and today we're going to go over how to correctly measure for a helmet and how to assess its fit. To measure for a helmet, you're going to want to use a soft measuring tape and you're going to measure about one inch above the eyebrow around the widest part of the head. You want to make sure that you're not dipping below um, in the back, so kind of assess that. A nice snug fit but not pulling too tight and it looks like Brie measures about 22 inches. Most of the measurements are taken in centimeters, so you can turn your tape over and check out what centimeters um, the head measures. By comparing Brie's head measurements to the helmet sizing charts, we're able to determine what size would work best for her. When trying your helmet on, you wanna make sure that your hair is the way that it's going to be when you're riding. So for a lot of women, that's gonna be in a lower ponytail. And when you go ahead and put the helmet on, you want it to feel nice and snug. You're going to want to feel even pressure around the whole part of your head. Um, not so snug that it's going to be too tight and giving you a headache, but snug enough that it's definitely going to stay on. You can also see in a profile that the helmet is nice and level. Um, it's not going to be tipping forward or backwards. So a great fit once the helmet's on is to check that in the front and around the whole of helmet, um, it's moving with your head. So as you move the brow and the uh, visor, you want to see the skin moving with the helmet. The helmet's not going to be sliding easily over the skin. You can also kind of come in here and do a little more and you can see her um, eyebrows and her forehead are moving with the helmet. Another fit tip is to go ahead and kind of lean over and shake your head a little bit. And if the helmet falls off, you might want to consider going to a smaller helmet. For the harness fitting, you're going to want to make sure that when the harness is latched and on, that these sliders are directly under your ears, and that's going to keep the helmet in the correct position on your head. And the chin strap, you should be able to fit about one finger beneath that um, anymore, and you risk the helmet coming loose in the event of a fall or getting jostled on your horse. If you purchase a helmet that's too big, you'll notice a few key things. The first being that it slides easily up and down over the forehead. You can also come in and get a little bit more and our skin's not really moving with it. If she were to shake her head side to side, you can see that the helmet has a whole lot of lateral movement and it's kind of moving all over her head. So we definitely would want to go down a size for this particular helmet. Now that you know how to measure for a helmet, check out all the styles and sizes available at ridingwarehouse.com.